Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in 2662, Part 5, Be Fast, Melody and Modulation. So in today's episode, we wanted to analyze the melody and cadences of Flight of the Bumblebee for ideas about transitioning. We recalled that we have what we call the wisdom teeth and the quantum jump big ideas for our themes, which are illustrated down here in these diagrams, jumping between orbit levels, so to speak and also another visual image here. And um, we had looked at Flight of the Bumblebee, and here it is. Actually, what we need to do is let you hear the whole thing. And what we did with that is we ran with it and said, okay, we're going to use me musical metaphors. Hummingbirds and butterflies, how do they move? Butter bumblebees, they flutter. Here, this is a fluttering motion. They kind of flutter about in place over a flower. Here's the flower. And then they suddenly flit. They flit. <laughs> And they start hovering over a different flower. Here's the other flower. So there's kind of like multiple home bases that they flit back and forth between. And how do we do that with a musical metaphor was the question. And uh, one of the key ideas that we're starting to approach is what's called modulation, which is changing the root. So for example, we could go from a C2662 to a D2662 to an A flat. 2662. So that's still pending for us to try that. But the reason we came up with that is we looked at the B and we realized that that was part of the technique that was being used here. And let's again, in order to hear it, we had to kind of turn off that the fluttery bit and just listen to the core. So that is the the B in one area. This is a E major. Dun, 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 dun. Did you hear that? It just jumped right there. Right there. So we labeled that something happened, and we and we highlighted the, the the chords, and we saw that he was using everything in here. It looks like he's using everything in the kitchen sink. No, he isn't. There's no G. And then some down here where something changes, boom. Suddenly he's using a G. That's the red flag that he changed key. He modulated, and so we we looked it up, and uh, sure enough. It turns out that Bumblebee uses a G flat minor, an A minor, and a B minor, and um, and it moves back and forth using modulation. So having confirmed that, we then flipped over and said, well, let's have a let's have a modulation model, and we were going to do that because it'd be very easy to take all of our melodies. Remember, we had the melody modi for melody model from the other day, and these were our B themes. And then we had a B2. And we went ahead and, and moved them over into this new home base of uh, 180 beats per minute and six order time signature. Well, and we spent some time on that. And what we actually ended up doing is we added a backbone line to every one of our uh, trial melodies. And we added a cadence line. And in particular for the B, this is what we have without any modulation. And that's an urge, urge, rest, rest feel. And then this version has an urge, rest, rest, urge. And, and then we did it with the rest of these melodies. So um, that's what we're going to be running with here is these uh, Well, it's part of what we're going to be running with. 
is continuing this idea of using musical modulation and other techniques, the voicing of a chord, like taking a note from the middle of the chord and jumping it up or down an octave. And we also heard in the B getting louder, softer, softer, louder. And so all of those are ways to feel like you're hovering and you're flitting, hovering and flitting. So that's where we're going to leave it. To end it up, we'll go ahead and play uh, what we've done so far with the um, melodies to date, having a backbone and a cadence. They sound like this. These are all in the C2662 full tonality. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your time and attention. Look forward to seeing you in the next stream where we will continue this. And as always, keep on streaming.